for a while I was like, I'm gonna have to recreate this whole song and all analog and hopefully they won't know. I still don't really know what happened. I did a song with an artist and the artist was from Toronto and they flew here and we did a session and we wrote the song and I sent them the demo at the end of the day. And like three, four months later, they called me and they were like, hey, we want to release the record. We want you to finish it and mix it. And I was like, oh, okay, great. I sat down on my computer and tried to open up the session and it was not on my computer. And I could not find it anywhere. The whole file of the artist was not there. And I was <laughs> kind of freaking out. I think my time machine was set in a way where it was using the wrong master drive. So it was replacing all of the things on my master drive with the things on the backup drive. So it deleted that stuff. But luckily, I had the fire safe drive in my house that I back up all the time and take out of the studio just in case of a fire. And so I ran in the house and plugged that in and luckily the session was there. The artist never found out about it and I was saved. The saying is, your stuff isn't backed up until it's backed up twice.